Welcome to the quill training video. In today's video, we will be showing you how to complete the quill month end procedure. Before you continue, please ensure that you have completed all your pre month end checks. Now go into the accounts module and click on the utilities icon on the left hand side. You should see a list of programs, one of which is named reports.net. Double click on this icon. Please note, this may open as a blue and black document folder icon in the taskbar on the bottom of your screen. Once opened, click on the tab labelled Batches. Highlight the batch you need to run, click on Validate. Confirm you want to run the month end reports by clicking OK. The system will run through all the reports and check that everything agrees. It will prompt you to print three reports. All the month end reports are held within the cloud, removing the need to print them. You can therefore press cancel on each of the three print boxes once it appears on screen. You can now view them on screen within our interactive system. From the navy blue bar, select reports and then monthly reports from the black toolbar on the left hand side. There you will see a folder for each month with the same set of subfolders. There are two reports that we need to review within the month end process before ruling off. Select the SRA subfolder and double click the bank reconciliation listing report. Within this report, the statement date column should be the last day of the month for all banks and the difference column should be zero for all accounts. If there are any errors here, you will need to revisit your bank reconciliations, make any corrections and start the month end process from the beginning. The second report you need to check is the validation report. This can be found within the batch summary reports subfolder double click to select. Within this report, we are ensuring that this end difference column has zero next to each item. If there are any differences on your validation report, you must immediately stop the month end process and contact our support team by emailing support at quill.co.uk and explaining that you have a difference on your validation report. Once you have reviewed the reports, you will then need to go back into the account system. Close down reports.net and select utilities from the left hand bar. Here you will find a program named rule off month slash period slash VAT. You must ensure that if using Quill to submit your VAT, that this is done prior to ruling off the month end. Double click on the rule off month slash period slash VAT, then select month and click on next. Tick the three boxes to confirm that, number one, all the reports you, you require are either printed or saved. Number two, Quill will complete the backup of your data and number three that there are no other users posting to the accounts, then click next. If it is your VAT quarter end, the box will be ticked automatically and you will need to change the date to your VAT quarter end date and click next. If it is not your VAT quarter end date, i.e. the box has not automatically populated, then just click on next. Once you are 100% confident that you want to rule off the month, simply click on finish and the backup will commence. Once completed, you can close down the program. Finally, again within utilities, go into the bank reconciliation and select each bank one by one and rule off each account. Once all accounts have been ruled off, the month end procedure is complete.